Welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we will learn about how to calculate Bollers coefficient of skewness. So in the previous video, we have learned about how to calculate quartiles and we were discussing about quartile deviation. So we were aware, uh, we were aware about how to calculate Q1 and the Q3. So in the same lines, Bollers coefficient of skewness is based on the value of quartiles. If the, if the series or the items are uh, symmetrical, the value of Q3 and the Q1 are equidistant when we compare to the value of median. If the series is asymmetrical, it means it considered as a series considered as a skewed series. So in that series, the Q3, the value of Q3 is farther than the or the above than the value of median, and on the same lines, the value of Q1 is below the value of median. If we consider about the how positively skewed or the negatively skewed, if the distribution is positively skewed, it means the value of Q3 is farther from the value of median and the Q1 is also not in the equidistance with the value of median. So this is just a brief background of how to calculate this coefficient of skewness given by Bollis. So here we will solve one practical question that is how to calculate the Bollis coefficient of skewness. So this is the continuous series given and the frequency given to you. So the first step as usual we will write the formula. So the formula for Bollis skewness that is we are referring SK as a skewness and B for the name Bollis. Q3 plus Q1 minus 2 median divided by q3 minus q1 this is the formula to calculate the coefficient of skewness so here first of all we will learn about how to calculate these quartiles so the demand of the formula is to calculate three items that is first is q1 q3 and the value of median so here we will start with the value of a q1 so q1 is that is n by 4 but in order to get the value of n we have to calculate cumulative frequency from the series so the next column is of cumulative frequency if you want to learn how to calculate cumulative frequency you can refer to the previous videos here with the help of calculator we are uh, now calculating the cumulative frequency so 12 12 plus 16 is 28 28 plus 26 is 54 54 plus 38 is 92 92 plus 22 is 114 114 plus 15 is 129 129 plus 7 is 136 and last is plus 4 that is 140 so here we can write at that 140 the total of this, that is summation F is 140. So the cumulative frequency, here we will calculate N by 4 means 140 divided by 4. So here it comes out as 35. Now we have to look for the data that is, uh, that consider the 35th item. So the 35th item falls under this category. It means 35th item is less than 54. That is why we are taking this series. So in order to calculate Q1 or know the exact value of Q1 because we are now sure that 35th item falls under this category it means the value of Q1 should be between 20 and 30. In order to know the exact value of the Q1 we have to apply the formula. That is L1 plus N by 4 minus CF upon F multiplied by I. Here plus sign you can put here. Now L1 is the lower limit. So this is the class we are referring. This is the class. So lower limit is 20. Plus N by 4 is 35. Here the trick is cumulative frequency. We are taking cumulative frequency of the just that uh, previous one. It means here the previous one is 28. Now talking about F frequency of the same distribution that is 26 so 26 multiplied by i is a class interval so here the class interval gap is 10 so we can solve this question this equation very easily 
35 minus 28 comes out at 7. So 7 upon 26 into 10. 7 divided by 26 that is 20 plus 0 0.26 into 10. So here 20 plus 2.6. So the value of Q1 is 22.6. This is the value of Q1. So here in the corner we can write Q1 is 22.6. This is the value of Q1. Now we have to calculate the Q3. So the value of Q3 that is 3n by 4. So here 3 into 140 divided by 4. So that comes out as 105. It means 105th item will be your the Q3. So 105 will fall under this value that is 105 falls under 114 so in the column of cumulative frequency we are putting a bracket just to uh, give a representation on that so for Q3 now the exact value between 40 and 50 so we have to apply the formula same formula L1 plus 3N by 4 minus CF divided by F into I so here L1 the lower limit of this class is 40 plus 3n by 4 is 105 minus cumulative frequency of the previous class that is preceding class that is 92 here the value of f is 22 the frequency and multiplied by the class interval so 105 minus 92 comes out as 13 so 40 plus 13 upon 22 into 10 13 divided by 22 comes out as 0 0.59 multiplied by 10. So here 40 plus 5.9. It means 45.9 is the value of Q3. 45.9. So here in the corner Q3 45.9 we are writing. Now for the last value of the demand of the formula that is median. We have to calculate the median. Median is very simple. We just have to calculate n by 2. So here n by 2. So 140 divided by 2 is 70. So now you have to look into the, this cumulative frequency, the column of cumulative frequency, where the value of the 70th item falls. So you can write 70th. 70th item falls under this category. So now to know the exact value of median, we have to apply the formula. So here the lower limit is 30. 30 plus n by 2 is 70 minus cf of the preceding class cf of the preceding class is 54 divided by f the frequency of the same class that is 38 multiplied by 10 here by solving uh, this equation that is 70 minus 54 so 30 plus 16 upon 38 multiplied by 10. So 16 upon 38 comes out as 30 plus 0 0.421 into 10. So here we can write a 30 plus 4.2. So the value of median I am writing on the above that is 34.2 is the value of median. So here the value of median is 34.2. Now we have all these three values. Now we just have to put these values into the formula of skewness.
and now we get the answer. So your ball is coefficient of skewness Q3. The value of Q3 is 40. Uh, sorry, 45.9. 45.9 plus the value of Q1 is 22.6 minus 2 median that is 2 into the value of median 34.2 divided by Q3 minus Q1 that is 45.9 minus 22.6 so the simple equation we have to solve this 45.9 plus 22.6 that comes out as 68.5 minus 34.2 into 2 that is 68.4 when we multiply these two figure uh, figure comes out as this so here 45.9 minus 22.6 so that is 23.3 now we are just removing this bracket 68.5 minus 68.4 that is 0 0.1 divided by 23.3 so 0 0.1 divided by 23.3 so the figure comes out as 0 0.0042 so this is your answer final answer Hope you like this video. Stay tuned for Ecoholics. If you have any doubt, any suggestion, you can mention in the comment box or you can also contact to our email ID that is given in our description of this video. Please share, subscribe this video and thank you so much once again. Have a nice day.